everyone, it's me Hatsy and I'm back with another Create a Sim video and this time we're going to be creating a very very special character for Let's Play Witches. So this is the Spirit Witch and this is one of the few times that I will explain this story. I don't know how much I'll be talking about it in the Let's Play. So if you are stuck on who the character is then you can just come back to this Create a Sim and you can think, okay I remember now. I remember her, she's pretty obvious though, because she's going to be one of the few ghosts in the Let's Play. So shortly after this, she will unfortunately be turning into a ghost, which will look pretty interesting. But she's supposed to be the most powerful person in the Let's Play. And she hasn't been introduced yet because she's not supposed to be a big character. She's supposed to be very much in the background, but she's the voice of reason. She is the witch that the elder witches summon when they need to answer or ask a question. And she comes out of a magical fountain in a graveyard. And yeah, she pretty much answers their question and helps them with what they're supposed to be worried about. So she is supposed to be in between the land of the living and the land of the dead. I don't like to say in the word dead, so the land of the passed away, but then again, that sounds really, really terrible. So yeah, I mean, she's going to be interesting because she has a lot of power and pretty much whatever she says goes. She is also supposed to consult with the ancestors, but they're not really sure whether she does that or whether she doesn't. It's really unknown. So pretty much if the spirit witch says that she's done something, it's very, very difficult to catch her out and say, I don't really believe that she hasn't done it because she is also pretty much in charge. She holds the most power throughout the world. And yeah, I mean, it's very complicated, but I haven't really thought very much into this. To be completely honest, there may be a few parts which are maybe like a little bit in the gray area, which I'm not too sure about, but I just want her to be like the powerful character. She's the one that, um, she isn't the leader. She's not part of the group whatsoever. She is just the voice of reason. So that's who you're supposed to see her as, the spirit witch, that is her character. And whether she is the voice of reason or not, you will find out in the Let's Play. But anyway, so I was putting her in her outfits and she looks really, really crazy. And that is just because I wanted her to look powerful. I was trying to think about how I could portray a powerful looking sim. And it was very difficult because to make a sim look more powerful than another, like how would you do that with no powers, nothing in the Sims 4. And by doing that, I had to use a lot of alien items. So you'll notice that I think she's actually an alien, but I'm not sure. I genuinely don't know. Maybe it's just because she has a skin on because I put her with like a purple skin. It may be because of content though. I, I honestly can't remember what the start of the video was. But yeah, she also has a lovely hairpiece, which I tend to wear when I come out of the bath or shower. And <laughs> it's a little bit insane having her in that, right? But I just thought, well, maybe it would show like a sign of, I don't know, maybe a sign of authority or something and that's what I was going with so some people might see it as a towel I see it as a very strangely shaped crown and there we go so she does wear the same thing for all her outfits of course the strange thing is we won't actually be playing as her as a sim and that is because she's supposedly unplayable like she's not really supposed to be she's just a character that shows up in the machinimas so if you like the machinimas and if you watch them then you will be seeing her and um, she'll be appearing she will also have the most special effects used on her so like the power sounds and the special sparkles that i can add stuff like that then yeah they will be of course surrounding her but i think that she's going to be interesting she's definitely going to stir things up and I think it's quite nice to have a sign of maybe authority with the elder witches because Elizabeth sometimes things get out of her control and it's a little bit unknown what happens when Elizabeth can't decide something where does she take the decision and of course it has really been an ancient myth is that the right word I don't know but when I watch um, witch programs online of course I don't really like to think about the stereotype which character and think about you know how they're obsessed with traditions and stuff but i do like the idea of there being a leader and that's definitely what i felt was needed in the let's play so somebody which is supposed to be unbiased between both worlds that can help them when they are stuck 
But I would imagine a personality to be quite complicated. So she's supposed to be very old as well, maybe thousands of years old compared to like Adam and Dracon and whoever else. I'm losing track of how old the witches are, but I'm not thinking too much into it because I'm thinking about the storyline more than anything. So yeah, of course there'll be parts where I go wrong myself, but she's supposed to be thousands of years old and that is all we're really supposed to know about her. And the pink hair, I absolutely love it. I just think it looks so nice and she really does remind me of somebody already in the Let's Play, but of course I can't say who. And that will be uncovered at a later date in the LP and you'll find that out, of course, if you can really figure out any backstories or think about ideas that we could have for the Spirit Witch of her backstory, then let me know because it could be really interesting. Of course, it would have to do with the reason why she is in between the worlds and how she has became so powerful and how she's become a spokesperson for both worlds as well. And at this point, I was picking out her traits. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I picked things like the fact that she would be a genius and um, potentially a bookworm. So that was what I would imagine like a lot of older people, maybe thousands of years old to be very knowledgeable. I don't really know, but I would just imagine that's the case. She would have pretty much had the most time ever to read as many books as <laughs> she would want to. But anyway, that is the end of The Creator Sim. So I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you all for Let's Play. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.